Hey everyone, I'm Ishan Sharma. In this video, I want to share with you one of the best ways for you to prepare for your coding interviews. A lot of you who watch my channel are aspiring software developers. So you want to get that tech job, you want to crack that coding interview, you want to get better at DSA skills. I want to show you exactly how to do that with the help of Geeks for Geeks. Now, as you all know, Geeks for Geeks is one of the biggest platforms for you to get better at software development in general. They have some of the biggest article libraries through which you can get better, you can learn more about software development in general. And I want to show you a great way for you to practice and hone in your DSA skills with the help of Geeks for Geeks practice website. Let me show you exactly how this works and how you can take advantage of it at the same time. The best part is it's completely free and if you watch this video till the end, I'll actually show you how to make money by contributing to Geeks for Geeks as well. Make sure that you hit the like button and subscribe and let's take a look at practice.geeksforgeeks.org. This is a great place for you to practice your DSA skills by attempting questions and getting feedback, looking at other people's solutions and getting better in general. Now you can actually look at data structures problems, algorithm questions. You can take a look at interview problems from companies like Amazon, Samsung, Microsoft, as you can see on your screen right now. And you can also look at courses that are completely free so that you can learn about basics of Java, Python, CPP and many other courses right here. As you can see, you can just open this up and even take a look at all of their free courses that are available for you to take. Now, I'll just give you a quick example of what you can do. So let's just go to data structures and I'll take a look at arrays. I'll just click on this question called as largest element in array. And this, as you can see, is the problem that you need to solve. So this is a problem called as largest element in an array. You can take a look at the accuracy for this question, the submissions, 88,000 people, and how many points will you get when you solve this problem right here? You can take a look at the description of what exactly do you need to solve. You can take a look at some examples, the input output and the explanation for the same. When you go down, you will also find the constraints that you need to take care of. So this is the basics. Now you need to solve this problem. You can choose what language do you want to solve this problem in. So I'll just go with Python, but you can choose other languages as you can see on your screen as well. Here is where you'll be solving out this problem. So I'll just quickly solve this for you right now in Python. So this is just a simple solution for this problem right here. And I can now click on submit. The problem has solved successfully. The solution has passed all the test cases. And that is what you can do with the help of Geeks for Geeks. Now, let's say you try out a problem, but you could not exactly solve it. Or even if you did solve it, it's always a good practice for you to take a look at the editorial section right here. So this is the editorial section. This is where you can go to find the solution of this problem. And you can also get some additional guides there from which you can learn exactly how to approach this particular problem. So this is a great way for you to learn about the best way to solve a particular problem. You can also take a look at submissions of yourself and of other people as well. Right. So as you can see, just as I'm talking, someone solved this problem in CPP, in C language, Java, Python, you can just take a look at their solutions as well right here. You can also take a look at the doubt support to clear your doubts if you have any. But this is how you solve problems on Geeks for Geeks. You can solve hundreds and even thousands of problems that they have on their platform for completely free. You can get better at solving interview problems and you can get a better chance of cracking top tech companies. But that's not it. Let me show you another way in which you can solve problems and actually get amazing perks at the same time. Over here, you'll find this thing called as problem of the day. When you click that, you will get a problem that you need to solve. So every single day, they'll be coming up with one problem that you need to complete. And when you solve this problem, you will get one geek bit. When you get 50 of these problems solved, you will be having 50 geek bits. Then you can get a lot of perks in return for these geek bits, as you can see right here. So as you can see, once you get 50 geek bits, you will be eligible to redeem all of these prizes. Like you can get merch, t-shirts, bags, you can get discounts on GFG courses, you can get Amazon vouchers, and you can also get annual premium membership of Geeks for Geeks platform. This is a great way for you to learn, get better at solving interview problems and get rewarded at the same time, which is just amazing if you think about it. Also, there's another way in which you can get rewarded and that is with the help of contributing to Geeks for Geeks. Let me show you what I mean by that. As you already know, Geeks for Geeks has a lot of articles from which you can learn about software development in general. Now you can also contribute to Geeks for Geeks by writing articles for them. So this is a page that explains exactly how to do that. How can you start content writing, technical content writing at Geeks for Geeks? You can see why should you be contributing, who all can actually contribute, 
what are the steps of contribution exactly what you need to do to contribute to geeks for geeks you can see how exactly can you contribute so you can either upload your own articles you can improve existing articles you can also contribute videos and you can also share your interview experiences as you can see this is a great way for you to share your learnings and you can also get rewarded how do you get rewarded let's take a look at the benefits that they have now when you start contributing to geeks for geeks you will be eligible for a work from home internship you will get paid for every single article that you write once it gets accepted you can also become a geeks for geeks campus ambassador at your college and you get a chance to get a full-time job at geeks for geeks as well this is a great way for you to contribute for you to learn and for you to get rewarded at the same time so these are the three main things that you should be focusing on in geeks for geeks i hope this video was insightful do take a look at the links in the description to learn more about it you can also take a look at exactly what topic should you be choosing to write at geeks for geeks so i'll leave all of these article links in the description so that you can take a look at that if you are interested so just to wrap it up we learned about how to get better at coding interviews by solving problems with the help of practice geeks for geeks i also talked about how to use problem of the day to earn rewards like merchandise coupons and so many other things and at the end we also looked at how to contribute to geeks for geeks and get some amazing rewards at the same time all the links are in the description so do take a look at that thank you so much for geeks for geeks for collaborating with me on this video i'll catch you all in the next one you can follow me on instagram as well as twitter you can share this video with your friends that would be amazing you can tag me on social as well i'll catch you in the next one